So my color choice for today's video is the Joico Lumishine Dimensional Deposit 10SB, which is a really light uh, silver blonde. And then I put in a splash of the 1BS, which is a level one, sounds crazy, but I'm just doing a splash of it just to add more intense uh, gray to this hair color. So I, um, I do my sectioning. We're also going to use a mint uh, green hair color to accent, add a little bit of uh, Joico intensity to it, a little bit of fantasy color just to make it a little more interesting. But you can mix in whatever color you want. I want you to know that this is a very salon friendly technique. So the, the technique on the very top is a zigzag parting, but still cr kind of creating a circular pattern. And then I go in and I start painting that 10 SB with a splash of one BS from the root to the mid shaft. And I do that right in the very front of the head. So I, I kind of work my way from the division point. So if you consider the ear, uh, the halfway point of the head, I work my way all the way across the front of the head first. That's what your guest is going to see. You could go all the way through to the ends because I'm going to do that. But I just chose uh, real quick to go all the way around all those triangles, then work um, root to mid shaft and then I go through and I'm going to paint through the ends as well. So one thing I like to point out, you'll see as I'm coloring, see how I'm holding my tail comb. I'm using my tail comb to take all my sections, uh, which keeps me nice and clean and neat. It also helps me work quicker. So um, now I'm going to go through, I paint the scalp and then I paint the mid shaft and then I pull it through the ends. I've got Carly helping me out. So I just go through, she's holding the section. I go through and I paint everything from scalp to ends at the division point. So the entire front of the head is going to be that 10 SB with a dash of one BS, um, which will create a really smoky effect in the very front. thing I like about using the dimensional deposit, even though it's a demi permanent hair color, um, it gives me that dimension. It gives me um, coverage with gray hair and it also is a cream consistency. So it definitely allows me to saturate the hair um, really well and it's much more opaque than uh, a gel like consistency in a hair color. So now I go through the back of the head and I do the same thing. I paint from the root to the mid shaft and I work my way all the way through that section. Then I'm going to go back through and I'm going to start painting that mint color on the ends of the hair. So you can see still using that comb. So watch me kind of slide with that uh, tail comb, take my section and then I'm ready to start painting. Keeps everything nice and neat and clean. And also I work much quicker that way. Other thing I want you to notice is that section that I took on top, um, because we won't get a ton of time to talk about it as I'm painting up there, see the triangles and how they dip down into the cut. So um, this whole collection to me is all about painting for the haircut um, so that you can see both. You can see how, why I'm coloring because every time I color ahead, I'm thinking, well, what do I want the cut to look like? So for this uh, particular cut, I wanted to have the debt, like the triangles kind of coming down into it. So I paint everything root to mid shaft and then I go in with that mint and I color mid shaft to ends. I want to pop that green in there. But you could do any color you wanted. So if you wanted to just mix in like I'm doing 10 SB, but maybe you wanted to do a little more depth at the base. Um, and then go in and do a lighter tone um, where the mint green is, you could do that as well. Know that these are salon friendly techniques, even though this isn't always using uh, a salon friendly hair color, um, you could always switch up your color and your tone choice. So finishing up my last section, same thing, just really painting um, that mint on the ends. I already did the root to mid shaft and now I'm going to let down that top section. So you can see, watch the triangles and how they dip down into the cut. The more you dip those down, obviously the more um, interaction you get with the, the hair color blending together. 
So I'm gonna go through and now I'm gonna paint on just the 10SB with the dash of 1BS. And I'm gonna paint that through, scalp to ends, and I'm gonna rotate, um, actually adding in some of the mint to the ends as well. So I keep working through and I just do the 10SB. And the reason I'm doing that is because I have that mint underneath. So it's gonna kind of poke out and I'll have that more uh, gray, silvery tone going on on the very top. But then once I get past that midway point, which is that division point uh, right at the ear, then I move into just painting the, the root area, the 10SB, and I paint the mint through because in the very front, we only did the 10SB. So I wanted some of that mint to kind of come over and hug around the face, but I wanted the depth from just doing the hair color and not the mint around the face. So you'll see in the end result that effect, but it looks really, really cool, especially when you have that layering around the face. So you can see now I'm adding that mint in because this is at the point where it's gonna start moving in to where I don't have any mint in the hair color technique. Another question you might be thinking is, well, what, uh, what direction should I take my slices? I don't think that that really matters too much in this technique, especially because we're doing uh, pretty much scalp to ends, but because she's gonna be wearing her hair with the left hand side parting, it's gonna be falling to the right, and I'm slicing the way that I am, I'm gonna get a little bit more of a stripey effect, and I don't wanna say stripey in a bad way, because in the 90s we had, or the early 2000s, we had pretty bad stripey hair, but this is gonna give me kind of some straps of that mint color coming through, but it's gonna blend in, and I'm doing a ton of layering in the haircut, so you're not gonna see those stripes that much but it will be nice and prominent because I did the straps this way so I take my last section same thing paint the scalp go down to the mid shaft and then paint the mint on the ends Right, and that is our end result. You can see how much movement is happening in there and how much depth putting that one BS in there, just that tiny little bit really brings it down and adds that uh, really cool depth to the cut, uh, to the color. So you can see that smoke uh, feeling that comes through it and then the mint that flows over top of it. Make sure you check out the cut on FSE On Demand. Thank you so much for watching.